Hi guys, today I'm going to be harvesting peppers and tomatillos. I'll also be sharing some tips with you. These are my pepper plants. They look really great this year. They also looked really good last year. But in previous years, I've had trouble growing peppers in the ground. They always did better when I planted them in pots. Back when I had trouble growing peppers, what I used to do is dig out my little planting hole, amend it with a little compost, put the pepper plant in, cover the hole up, and let the plant go. This was not working well for me at all. The pepper plants were always really small. They would hardly produce any peppers. The leaves usually looked yellow all the time. Last year, instead of amending each little hole, I amended the whole entire little pepper planting area that I have, and it made a humongous difference. I added a bale of peat moss into my soil, mixed it in really good, and then my peppers grew beautifully. This year I planted my peppers in the same spot as I did last year. I did have a whole bunch of leftover potting soil, so I added that to the area, and they're doing really well again this year. So peppers do like nice, well-draining soil, and I think my heavy clay soil was a problem. There's a lot of things that will actually grow really well in heavy clay soil, but it wasn't working out for the peppers. So if you've had trouble growing peppers and you have heavy clay soil like me, try amending your planting area really well. I think that it'll make a big difference for you. Let's get in here and start picking some peppers. This one is Big Bertha. It starts off looking like just this green bell pepper here. And it's humongous. I can't believe how big this is. This has to be the biggest pepper I've grown. I'm really excited to pick this. I could wait for it to turn completely red, but I'm just gonna take it off now. In my experience though, if you want it to be really sweet, wait until it turns red or whatever its final color is gonna be. Here's a better look at it. I cannot believe how big this is. Here's my hand for comparison. I have really long fingers. This thing is really big. I know I've said that a hundred times. This one is Flavor Burst Sweet Pepper. It's a hybrid pepper. When it's fully ripe, it'll turn orange. Right now, it's this really bright yellowish green color. I'm gonna go ahead and just pick one of these for now. This one is a Jimmy Nardello pepper plant. These plants are on the small side every time I grow them, but they produce a good amount of peppers and they are definitely worth growing. They are by far the best sweet peppers I've ever had. Then of course we have the sweet banana pepper. Most people have probably grown this variety. I mostly grow sweet peppers. I'm not a big fan of the hot peppers. I like to have one or two hot pepper plants in my garden and that's it, just to season foods. It's hard to get a good view of some of these because I plant my pepper plants really close together, usually about a foot, a foot and a half apart. Hopefully you guys can see in there pretty well. This variety is Korbaki or Korbachi. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. I'm gonna grab some of these out of here and then I'll show them to you. These are also a mild pepper. I haven't tried them yet, so I can't tell you what they taste like, but they're very, very pretty. The plants are productive. Most of them are these long, skinny peppers. And then there's a few that are cute little curled peppers. And last but not least, I'm harvesting a couple Serrano peppers. These are hot peppers. They're the only hot peppers I have this year. If you've never grown them before, they're a little bit hotter than jalapeno peppers. Here's what they look like when they're ripe. And now we're gonna head on over to the tomatillos so that I can show you how to harvest them. These are my tomatillo plants. I have two of them growing in one space. I planted them both in one tomato cage. Although I like growing them, it's not something that I'm gonna use a whole bunch of. They've done really well with two plants sharing one space, so I'm gonna grow them like this from now on. Here's a ripe one. The way that you can tell that if they're ripe is they'll start bust busting out of their little husk just like this one is. Go ahead and pick this one. The husk will also start to change color. And I'll show you some unripe tomatillos just for comparison. Here's some that are not ready. And when you squeeze, sometimes you'll fill just a little bitty tiny tomatillo in there. Sometimes there'll be a little bit bigger one like this one. You can actually pick them at any stage of growth and you can use them in your cooking. But if you wait until they're like this, they're gonna be much more flavorful. Once they start ripening up, don't forget to check the ground. They do fall on the ground really easily shortly after they're ripe. 
Here's another one. These are good tomatillos. Just check them over for bugs and bruises, stuff like that. They should be fine to use. And that's all for this video. I hope that it was helpful. Give me a thumbs up, leave a comment. If you're new to my channel, you can subscribe if you enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.